Welcome back. Since the start of the year, the dancehall reggae space has been inundated with a number of game-changing issues, with the latest having to do with the defense of the genre by Mr. Vegas in the Drake Views album Saga. Drake the fake is just running with the hot genre right now. But when it comes to defending dancehall, our guest in this segment is most certainly one of the most vocal. Nobody can pay the silent the killer. So his views on these issues are very, very important. He's the dancehall warlord who knows a thing or two about feature credits in international mainstream. Party going on from night till day. With at least three big international featured hits to his name. Check it out, check it out. It's Bounty Killer, no doubt. Bounty Killer, the Warlord, right now, right here on our stage. Warlord, sir. Salute. Good to have you, sir. Good to have you. Come on. Okay, sir. So, first of all, this Drake views controversy. Jump in and tell us where you are on this issue. You must have heard all sides to the issue. The, the, the Vega side, where he's calling Drake um, the, the fake for not giving the appropriate credits to dance all. And then there's Popcorn, as a stereotype, I can't deal with anything myself. And mm -hmm. others who are uh, um, Rush, DJ Rush, Sirani, who support Drake and think that he's doing something for dancehall. Where are you on the whole thing? Well, I think it's a good move for Drake to have four Jamaican artists and the biggest rap album right now in the world. Mm -hmm. I don't know how the crediting negotiation went. Cause yes. With credit, it has to be negotiated. Yes. It's not all the time your name will appear on the record while you are on the record. But you have to negotiate your record company or your management team or whosoever. But it don't just happen, so. Yes. There's a lot of artists on record and you don't see them name on it, you only hear them voice. Mm -hmm. As you see that more with Kendrick Lamar and Assassin and it happened with few other artists, even in hip hop too. Drake has done dancehall a huge favor. Yes. To have four major dancehall artists on his album. I've never seen any other international act done that before. Mm -hmm. And to say he try, he's trying to steal dancehall with four big major dancehall artists on the album, that don't seem to make sense to me. Mm -hmm. He's trying to align himself with dancehall, I would think. Okay. All right. So that's, a, that's another way to, to, to read it. I to, think he wants to align himself with dancehall. And, because, and it's important that you're saying this, because what is the contention on the part of Mr. Vegas, uh, for example, <coughs> the appropriate credit? Now, if one looks at you, is, your, is the kind of credit that you had with no doubt that he's talking about? Yeah, that, well, that Which feature, is a featured credit. That was a featured credit. Well, Sly and Robbie had negotiated my credit on that because I never was with a record company at the time. Yes. Sly and Rabbit negotiated my deal, and I never got compensated financially. Because mm -hmm. what I asked for, they, they, they offered me a small sum compared to what I asked for, and I said that was a disrespect, and Sly them convinced me that most time we do music, we never really get compensated over the years, and this music became our milestone in music. So. Okay. I just do it well, for the wow. love of music. Well, well, that again is something and where we need to understand. In my career too. Yes. Absolutely, that is a, that's important, killer. Because some people are accusing Jamaican artists of not taking the the promotional route. Yeah, like just a whole lot of money, whole no, of food. And well, that's all I was thinking. Still, you know, I was thinking like, yo, big no doubt, and yo, yeah, money, big money, yo, more ten grand, more this and that, and them have me too. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, ten to two, <laughs> no relationship. So you walked away from and that? I walked away, I said I wasn't going to do it. And then Sly them convinced me that over the years when they was working with Steve Wonder and Grace Jones, and it wasn't a big compensation. Oh, yeah? And those are the music that made them pioneers. Into, into, into brands? Yes. Powerful international and brands. And the same exact thing come up to me. The biggest song in my career is Lay Baby. Yeah. And forever, you will be credited. Forever. Forever. And will re and reap rewards, right? Yeah. Financial rewards. The too. most publishing I've ever collected on a song is from Hey Baby. So there's a thing or two to learn from that. And, that's, and that is what we're talking about here, Killer. And from back in the 90s, though, I just was just talking to Sirani, as you, you might have heard. Yeah. And I was just saying to Sirani that there is a blueprint. Man like you, Beanie. Um, Shabarang, Supercat, old man walking Would on you, mainstream yeah. already. And, and I've tasted and know what it is. And I think there should be more dialogue in the, in the, in the dance hall business, yeah. Bertrand. Instead of this cutthroat thing, man for talk to man, and man for have conversations. Yeah, no, that's one of the biggest problems in dance hall 
togetherness. Yes. He is mostly this camp, that camp, but he's not a industry. He's yeah. like his camps. Say. But there is no industry together. As you know, we, we don't even have much collaboration as dancehall artists. It's not easy to get a bunty and a beanie and a cartel and a mother and one song. Because mm -hmm. you have to go through how much struggle and make how much treaty or peace talk or whatever. You understand? In rap, you will get a Drake, you will get a Rick Ross, you will get a French Montana, everybody on a big song. Jamaica and dance or kingpins to get into that mainstream, maybe Killer, you should probably promote a, a collaboration. Just call out some big man and they put all these brands together, yourself and yeah, yeah, all of the big ones. The, the world leagues. can't walk around that. True. Who can walk around that? But the true. problem with dance all overseas now still, Winford, the culture. Yes. The culture that they are selling is not really Jamaica. Okay. Because they are singing a lot of Americanized things and lyrical colonial it's lyrical. The, the, lyrica, the lyrics isn't Jamaican lyrics. No. And the beats, they are hybrid. They are genetic. Mm -hmm. They are not authentic. They are not Jamaican beats. Okay. Most of the beat them, they Hence mix up the in name, other sound. Tropical House. I and, even know and these guys are names. When yes. so. When you in Tropical House. Me no know names, so. No, no house music no come from the tropics. Mm. So nobody can't come take nothing from around here to call it house. House music come from Europe. Yes. And when they must say name, whatever, it's not white name, it's white sound like. Because when you hear soccer, nobody can't get a new name. Mm -hmm. If you hear them, bing, 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 with the steel drum, you know that's soccer. So yeah. when we hear the cowbell and bloop, 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 on certain sound, we know that's dance hall. So, so it doesn't matter what they call it. Mm. Make them use the sound and call it what they want to call it, because it is what it is. Ah. <laughs> we, as Sirani said, we're getting out. We want the sound to get out. Mm -hmm. We want people to get familiar with it. And when they hear the authentic thing, they will know. So we have no problem with people using the sound. But as Vega said, when they use the sound, we should be properly credited. And that's true. Yes. We can't knock him for that. But on the Drake album, it's mostly sample. Mm -hmm. And sample, your name does not come up as a feature. It comes as a sample. So you get your credit in the inlay. Okay, sir. So it's Thanks for the clarification, Killer. All right, so let's move on to some other big issues. The extreme dancing in dance song. That's not dancing. Yes. That's antiques. That's, that's something else, but that's not dance. Mm -hmm. That's not dance. Dance should be something where me and you can do. We can't yes. catch it. You can't catch them something there. Walk <laughs> it over, girl, and a beat down, a pop off. That, that's not dancing. That's a hack. That's a hack. Mm -hmm. So I think them think they are circus business, and they might mix it up. In a dance hall, and it's happening in the dance hall space, them call it dance hall culture, but that's not we. Okay. So that weird guy, I don't know where he come from doing those weird things, but that's not dance hall. And we don't want them to align it with dance hall, because it look dangerous and look offensive. Mm -hmm. It look distasteful, disgraceful. Mm -hmm. Disrespected women. Everything wrong about it. And the next thing now, there are so much dancers in the dance now, and yes. some of them are not dancers. They are just dancing. They don't have a dance. Okay. So they have to do all type of crazy things to get a little attention. So I think it's attention seekers doing these extreme things. And you say to them, what you say to the space about that? This is what I'm saying. Go, go, go do some clown show at the circus <laughs> or something, but please leave dance hall. Uh, if we in a dance hall and see any man I do that again, we are going to disrespect him. Straight up. Okay. This is my bread and butter. I'm in a plan for go do anything else. And music we are do till we're dead. And that's it's killing the culture, not just the music, it's killing Jamaican. Cause people just think, I saw Jamaican stay, not even just dance all people, they're just thinking in general. Mm -hmm. So we don't need that. Um, Cartel released an album. And he calls it King of the Dancer. Uh, what do you I never heard the album still. I uh, uh, heard about it, but I never listened to the album. Should there be a controversy about that? Or any question about what Cartel's true intent is? Is he king of the king dance at, hall? Uh, at being it? <laughs> I don't know what it means if he is the king of the dance hall and just give it a title. It's a title, but some people are saying, boy, I'm a this You never hear him say he's the king of the dance hall. No. He just give the title yes. and an album. So the name of an album and the name of a person are different. Mm. If him come and uh, attest him or the king, then them could have said something. But me know say provoking still. But him never say him or the king. <laughs> say the album. He was provoking me. He provoking for true. Yeah. But just like when Beanie said him or the king, he did provoke yellow man. 
Yes. You yeah, understand? Yes. And tell you what, it's not one king. You have the king of all kings. Yes. But there are several kings. Mm -hmm. Kings come down different generations. Yes. So I guess Cartel Travis said he might the king of this generation. Wouldn't that be debatable that he's no. the king of this generation? He's the king of this generation. You can't deny that. Okay. So who is? We are going to fight it mm. for the last 10 years. Hi, him. We can't say nothing. I'm the young king then. Mm. If you want a piece of the king thing, we can hold on my young king. <laughs> but you can't say him is not a king. He's not no prince anymore. Uh, okay? Okay. After a decade. I'm not being okay. biased. All right, sir. My young king, man. <laughs> no, no, look at politics, you know, because Donald Trump, your boy. On the cruise, you went after Donald Trump. Okay. And Andrew and Portia. But for them, for them election over now. Mm. Okay, so but Donald, think, Donald is now the presumptive nominee mm -hmm. for the, the, uh, the Republicans. Yeah. Where, how do you feel about that, Donald's advances? Worried since enough. since you spoke worried. about I'm it in November. Worried. I'm very worried. You're worried. He's a racist. I don't want to understand him. You are not a person if you are, you are not people if you are not American for Donald Trump. Yes. That's how him talk. That's how his mind is. Mm -hmm. And this man say black people, lazy, and we only like to cause trouble and have sex mm -hmm. and pick me and drugs. Mm he -hmm. don't like black people, so I don't like him. Okay. And him winning America, I'm not sure if I go back. And there are Jamaicans who say they are supporting Donald Trump. Yeah, because you have some stupid Jamaican who support. Uh, L.A. Lewis is one of them. He came on here and said. Where you respect. Mm. That's what <laughs> it's clear why he would have supported. Yeah. <laughs> he is like a Donald Trump to himself. Weird. Say it. Um, and you know, Andrew Olness, and they talk a little bit about that because he's the new prime minister. You were, you said you, be, you, you congratulated him on the win, yes. I think. Um, no, the, the tax it, break, you think it's, it's... It's implemented yet? No, not yet. It's not... If, no, it's not implemented yet. Well, you know, you have to give them some time. But we pretty, much, we pretty much know what it is now. Do, do you... You don't have an issue with it as it is right now? No, but that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Anything to help the civil servant of the country and the, 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 the people who get the less income, it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. So we supported that. So I just hope it implement. I just yes. don't want this empty promise thing. Because over the years, that's what politicians do make young people they never like hear about politics because it's not, not real. It's well, fear. it's now pretty, pretty much a done deal. It's going to yes, happen. Because so, so, they, they know where the money is coming from and so on. Yes, yeah, so we're looking so, forward to it. We've been waiting. We're wanting it. You think they should be going after him and the house? No, man. That, the him, house thing, that we, give him a chance want, to be prime minister? That, we want him to do something for the country. If him do something mm -hmm. that affect his credibility, yeah, we can't talk about that, but right now we are talking about Jamaica and moving forward. The house thing can't come later on. The house yeah. not going to win. can't sell it. It's there. So let's discuss Jamaica house and not Andrew house. Yes. For a minute. For a minute? Yeah. Because the country needs we need urgent to attention. Yes, man. That's what we need. Crime, man. for example. Whoa, Kilo. man. Yo, it's crazy. Especially with kids. Mm -hmm. Young kids. The amount of young kids that got murdered in the country. The, the youth them does not have no love for themselves. Does not no love, no self-love. So it's like everything around them, them not care about it. They're ready for destroy it. Yeah. Including themselves. Yes, we need to teach them. Because it's self-destruction, you know. Self-destruction. These youngsters don't realize that they can't kill their way into, a, into, into, into living, into, into surviving, into ascending, you have into no achieving. Killers in retirement. You can't kill people. Ah, All you killers just said are it. in the grave or in a cell. There's no killers in retirement chilling on the hill in a, a nurse home or something tooling out. They're all in a grave or in a cell. So that's the destiny of a killer and a gunman. And all of us know that from over the years in the 70s. 40, 50 years ago, all gunmen has been on the same route. I don't know what culture. You know, the youth, they make them think, okay, kill, 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 and then you're not going to live, live, live. So what was the purpose? What's the point, yes? What's the point? I don't know. You have a tune, Killer, right now, uh, addressing some of these social issues. Um, what's the name of the song? No one know. No one know? Yeah. <clears throat> Can we go to it and then we talk about it? Right the video. Mm -hmm. no
The song explains itself. We're killer talk about yeah. right now. Not this. And, uh, no, no, you know, killer. This, them, you just said it too. Them tune up. We need to hear more of this. No, this the generation not pushing these type of arguments. It's more about dancing, flashing, or sexy girl and can. The, the youths them not involved in the people's plight or the people's issue or the issue of the country. So we want. You want this in the juggling them. Out there, this we are playing a juggling. Not just my song in the juggling. I want this generation to make these things their interest too. I did poor people fed up when me about 25 or 26. Mm -hmm. I never when me at 36. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be a big man or a grown man to know what the people going through. When you listen to dance and music, one day people still poor Jamaica, you know. Yes. Cause the amount of happiness and flashing and you know things are and pain and hunger there anymore. Speaking of party now, yours is coming up. Your birthday party. Yeah. The big, bad, it's, the it's party. a party mm -hmm. coming up. Wait, when is it, Killer? June 10th. June 10th? Sabina Park. And everybody free before what? Yeah, everybody free before one. You know, Ponticula is a street man, and I'm the poor people's governor, and me have no friend who's not really fortunate to pay a thousand. Mm -hmm. So you know you have to make them get for them a privilege. So everybody free before one, because I want to celebrate. Yes. I want to celebrate with the common man, big Terry, but I you don't want to celebrate with all stars. I want the little man who sell on the roadside out there too. You know, people in the Come early and come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to have a big so celebration. A park, big park. <laughs> can hold a lot. You think you can hold the crowd? Kill it's a car park. It's not really <laughs> some kind of park. Well, like good to tell them because why do think it's going to run out of space, you know? Well, we have a good sized car park. You can't hold, yeah. man. Yeah. It's unlike any place that was small, you know? Yeah. So the heat wave won't be there. So it's going to be good. Yeah, well, um, I don't know if you have anything to tell us about the summer. What is the summer looking like? I know you're on a well, certain big show. Looking good. Well, I'm on some fest because last year I wasn't on it. I'm mm -hmm. on some fest and I'm on Dream Weekend. Mm -hmm. So those oh, are Oh, you're doing the tour them, right? Yeah, I'm doing the tour of them this year. Oh, wow. So it will be a warlord, angry, miserable <laughs> well, they say summer well, in Jamaica. <laughs> You're going to burn down the whole of them. <laughs> Get that tune there. Make sure that tune that drop there. Yeah, man. But you know, I'm buying something there, man. The social yes. commentary. I mean, the fans have been asking for it. Because, you yeah. know, them like when Killer touch certain topics and certain issues. Mm -hmm. And the producer deliberately say, him want that type of bounty. Mm -hmm. Studio vibes. So big up to Studio vibes. Yeah, them request that type of Killer. Because they realize, say, nobody not take up the bank. Nobody not carry on that type of message. Because when me come... His ninja man and half pint really me here and sing about poor people in this whole wide world. is one big ghetto and ninja man with him. Vote no fight them and say, them type of tune yeah. mm -hmm. Me I got take them on. Ah. So it was the inspiration from a half pint and a ninja man. And it fits you perfectly, killer. It fits you. This, and then this... my mother was an active person in politics. I used yes. to see the politicians them come out with yard and come in at the community and he used to come tell me all type of thing and nothing ever really used to go on. So I have first hand experience with it. So I used to know say injustice there so I have to talk. What do you make of the Sunfest though? The the Joe buyout of Sunfest? Well, I don't know about the buyout. I know them said no international night not gonna be there, but I don't think they should not have an international night. They shouldn't use international foreign artists, they should use Jamaican and international acts. Yes. I think if it's a reggae some fest, not pure reggae and dance all for the planet where you go with hip hop and papa and all these people. I don't want to see them. Okay. And sometimes they get all this money and they cannot deliver. So I think Neither they the crowd, should go for... the performance, for, yes. Them should go for Jimmy Cliff, homie, Steel Pulse, mm -hmm. so some of our big international, I go back for y'all, Sean Paul too. Yeah, Sean Paul, Shaggy. All of our international Junior artists. Gang, the school of them, man, they yes. have a national people, they have enough reggae international mm -hmm. act. We don't need hip hop international artists for reggae some fest. When you keep a hip hop show, you keep it. But keep it reggae and dance hall and keep it roots. Mm -hmm. So if Joe say him now use international artists, I'm cool, but I still think him an international night. And you're back on the cruise this year? Yeah, I'm back on the cruise also. Yes, I haven't seen you since the last one. We, we saw you and we were there. <laughs> we watched you match up the cruise. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, this lineup is tremendous. Your Bedroom Bean is also on this. A legendary thing, man. Yeah. A legendary one. Yeah, man. It, it wicked. And 
Everybody knows this. It's the biggest thing right now in reggae, this cruise by mm -hmm. Junior Gong and the family. Yeah, man, we, big up the Marley's brothers. Oh, boy. That, that's, that, that move Great there we experience. Can. Yeah, man, it's different. Oh, yeah. I oh, like yeah. it. And to me, can't go far and far and come to me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> far and come to you. Well, that will change one day. This kid, I don't it. It won't change. It won't that is Donald change. Trump window. You jump when you can't No, I don't go fight and struggle. I don't want to go back on a slavery days. A slavery the man there try to bring back in and say the man want to put up a wall and something there and lock out. <laughs> I'm a China wall and Berlin wall, I'm trying to go back in the world. We don't want no more wall, man. That's some bridge you want to know. Donald, watch it, man. The wrong thing you have to <laughs> No more walls, man. Some door and some bridge, man. <laughs> Voila! Give another shout out for the party. Tell them where we're on. Oh, where it's a party. No, it's the party. Yeah. It's going to be June 10th at Sabina Park. So everybody does turn up next week, Friday, that should be. Yes. And it's going to feature Stone Love, Sky Juice from Metro Media, Alan's Art, Boom Boom, Harry Hype, Super Sound from Miami. And everybody is free before 1 a.m. And everybody has to pay one minute after one. <laughs> no complimentary passes. So I don't need nobody for your car me. I thought, okay, where my pass there? Just walk past before one. All right? So, fair power. enough, sir. Fair enough. I agree. All right. There you have him. Right. Hi, thanks for watching our video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking right here and enjoy so much more where that came from. Something from America. Most of the time we don't get it cleared for it to be released properly. A clear indication and a clear um, example of that is Vibes Cartel.